In this video, we'll talk about reading a range of values from Google Sheets to an array in JavaScript. And then we'll also talk about how to actually have an array of values and put it in a range. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now we have this spreadsheet and we have some values. So you can see we have this some numbers and some text assigned to those numbers. And that's in our range A7 through B13. So what we'll do is read those to an array in JavaScript. We go back to our app script. So the first two lines, we have to get our spreadsheet app to a variable, then we get our active sheet. So again, if you're not sure what these lines do, go back and watch the first video and it will make a lot more sense. So we'll go ahead and get our active sheet. And in my active sheet, I'm going to use my get range method and I'll use my range a7 through b13 i believe a7 b13 yeah and what we're gonna do we're gonna use a new method here so before we used to use this method get value but the get value is useful if you're working with a single cell right now we're working with a range of values so we're gonna do get values instead of get value okay let's assign this to a variable variable num uh, I don't know it's probably numbers it's not a great idea but let's say I'm just gonna call it temp and to see what actually happens here we'll just log this out so I'm gonna do logger dot log and I'll just log the variable out oh temp that's the line so that's it. So we're going to read this range of values and assign it to a variable and then we'll just log it out. So I'm going to run this code. Let's go ahead and view it our logs. So that's what we got. So it doesn't fit on a single line, but we basically have this JavaScript array. And if you know JavaScript arrays, this is going to be very easy for you. So you should know what this is right away. But what it is really is an array so I'm just gonna paste it here so I can show you what's going on here so we can do this this way to make it easy so this is uh, I guess it's an array of arrays that we have so what we have is uh, our first array is this. So let's actually move this to the new line over here. Probably will make a little more sense. So basically that's our array right here. And our array has different values that are separated by commas. So that's the first value in our array, then comma, the second, third. So each line is one line of value in our array and each uh, value is an array by itself because we have two columns here we have two objects in that array so 67 and high mid it's going to be the first one separated by a comma seven and low two and low so that's what we got from logging it out on the screen so now let's create our own array now we can't actually use this as an array by itself because the logger log object that doesn't actually give us the uh, because I have this it's not it's an invalid code right now it doesn't actually give us a JavaScript array it just logs out what you have currently pretty much in that variable so what we'll have to do we'll have to create an actual valid JavaScript array so let's create a valid JavaScript array so I'm going to create a variable to assign it so I'm going to say a double R for array I'm gonna say it equals to this array and now in this array we have numbers and text now numbers this is fine this can stay but text needs to be in quotes or in single or double quotes it shouldn't matter both should work 
but anything that's text value should be in quotes numbers don't have to be there we are that's our array so now we should have valid code so now we create this new array that I have and manually I just wrote it and technically I didn't write it I cheated I tried to copy and paste so I don't have to write the whole thing down but there it is that's our array and this array it doesn't have to be separated on lines like this it could be all written down on a single line like that and it would be just fine but it's a little easier to read what's going on by doing this and our line ends over here so I'm gonna do my semicolon to end my line and I'm gonna assign it to a variable array so at this point that I have this variable I want to write this array to a range in sheets so let's say I want to put it over here right so that would be our d7 through e13 fair enough so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna simply go here and do my active sheet and I'm gonna get the range oh it's not what we're looking for there it is so in here which one was it d7 through e13 d7 colon e13 and we're gonna put our dot and get our set values method instead of set value which was for a single cell that's gonna be our array Oop. apparently I hit caps lock there let's fix that so we're going to take this array of variables and we're going to just put it over here in this range. So let's save this, run, and there it is. I had an array in JavaScript and I was able to write that array to my spreadsheet just like that. So you can use this for copy pasting the same thing so a lot of times like copy and pasting is not something that you do a lot They're like the real copy real paste stuff when you do app scripts so instead what you do you get a set of values and you basically set those set of values in some other place so if I wanted to just make a copy of this let's say in here right what I would do I would just go here first of all I would get those values so let's just log a log I don't need them so I forget about all of this so I'm just gonna comment it out there it is so so far uh, I just grab those variables from a7 through B, b13 and I just basically just put it in this variable temp right so then I want to put in g7 g13 uh, h13 so I'm gonna go let's make it easier g7 h13 and I'm gonna set values to the temp variable right there. I'm gonna go ahead and save, go ahead and run this function. And you can see we take this from here and we write it over here. So that's an easy way to just transfer an array and basically what this line does it reads it to an array and while when you do the logger log it may not seem like a valid array which is if you remember when I just copy and paste I had to do all these codes to actually make it a valid JavaScript array but in a memory it is actually a valid array 
so I can still use that variable to set my values or just work with those variables like I would in JavaScript. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's how you can read a range to an array and that's how you can write an array to a range in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching and subscribe for new videos.